The catheter is inserted through a sheath which has been placed at the level of the knee. The catheter is then advanced through the saphenous vein to the level of the junction of the saphenous vein and the common femoral vein. The catheter energy is then applied, heating the vein closed. The catheter length is 7 centimeters and after the initial segment is sealed for 40 seconds at 248 degrees Fahrenheit, it has moved further down towards the leg, 7 centimeters, so that there's a small overlap. With each subsequent heating, there'll be an overlap of a half a centimeter on either end. The heating of the vein creates scar tissue, which then causes the vein to close immediately. The patient is awake during this procedure, slightly sedated, and feels no pain during this closure of the vein. The catheter has marks every seven centimeters to assist the operating surgeon in precise retraction of the catheter. The inset shows ultrasound evidence of vein being closed with heat. The patient feels no pain during this procedure since there has been a tumescent anesthesia infiltrated around the vein to protect the surrounding tissues from the heat of the catheter. The entire closure of the vein takes approximately four minutes in an average length greater saphenous vein. The patient's leg is wrapped after completion of the procedure and the patient walks out of the office without any discomfort. Follow-up ultrasound is performed within three to five days to confirm persistent vein closure and to rule out any possible deep vein thrombosis at the level of the groin. The radio frequency generator consistently heats the catheter to 120 degrees Celsius, which is the equivalent of uh, 248 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we see the heating element of the catheter, which again measures seven centimeters in length. 